So Eva and I watched I, Tanya last night. Um, this is one that we wanted to see in the theater, or at least I did. Um, but it just didn't work out, you know? It, it's hard for us to get a babysitter. Um, we have three kids, so... We have one sitter like an hour away, so... It, it just became a little too tough for us to get to the theater, but um, that's one that that we were going to go see, and kind of sad that we didn't get to because it was a really good movie. Like, I, I really enjoyed this thing. Um, Margot Robbie <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome as Tanya Harding. Um, so if you don't know, I, Tanya is the story of Tanya Harding and the Nancy Kerrigan incident with uh, the Olympics uh in, what was it, 1992, 1994, Winter Olympics, I, I'm not sure exactly, but I know I was about uh, seven or eight years old at the time when it happened, I remember it being a huge story in the news, <clears throat> and also kind of in our household, because my mom loved to watch figure skating, and so I knew who these people were, um, and yeah, it was just such a big story, and I think that's one of the reasons I like this movie so much because it was really nostalgic for me. It it, it it had all the early 90s makeup and hairstyles and um, just, you know, it, it, it was kind of ridiculous. Uh, but, yeah, so for me, that that's kind of what made me want to see it because I, I knew the story pretty well, or at least I thought I did. And um, then just the nostalgia of it, you know. Like, that's what adults look like when I was a little kid, you know, looking around. So, uh, th this story, this is a really cool movie because it's from the perspective of Tanya Harding and, um, also her ex-husband. And so, it's a different view than we've seen. Um, kind of in the early 90s, it was very much painted like Nancy Kerrigan, this, you know, um, just amazing Snow White princess, right? And Tanya Harding, this like uh, kind of backwoods redneck chick, right? And she's like the bad guy. So um, the people in the Tanya Harding group were accused of attacking Nancy Kerrigan and um, injuring her knee before competition. And so it was just this huge, huge story. But the movie was from Tanya's perspective, and I thought it was really great. It was a lot of foul language, a lot of violence in this movie, believe it or not. Tanya Harding had a um, very kind of abusive life, and uh, if you have a hard time seeing women get hit in movies, this might not be the movie for you, but I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was really well done. I thought it was darkly comedic, um, and it was great. I liked it a lot. So, I would definitely recommend checking it out, uh, 100%. I wish I would have seen it in the theater, and yeah, great movie. Margot Robbie does great, and everyone else does great, too. The guy that played her husband, I think, um, I think they did such a good job in this movie making the characters look like the characters, like making the actors look like the people in the film. Like, they... They really look like them. I mean, Margot Robbie is uh, way more attractive than, than Tanya Harding, in my opinion. Um, but they they definitely made her look like Tanya Harding, and the the husband uh, really looked like him. And like the other characters in the movie too, like pretty flawless what they did with with costumes and makeup and stuff. And Tanya's mom, who was also a very abusive person in her life. Um, they nailed her look, they nailed her look, and uh, it seems like they nailed her attitude too, so, just, great movie, great movie, it gives you a different perspective on the whole, um, Tanya Harding, Nancy Kerrigan incident, and, just very well acted, um, the way the movie jumps around, one of my favorite things is that it's kind of narrated the whole time, and sometimes in real time, like, they'll be in the middle of a scene, Tanya will turn to the camera and be like, this happened, blah, 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 or this happened next, and, um, I just love the way they did that, I love the way they narrated throughout the film, and then I also like how it showed the disagreement, so, like, it was Tanya's story of what happened, right, maybe it's a fight between her and her husband, and her husband interjects, like, this, this definitely did not happen, 
I did not do this, all right? And um, yeah, I just love how they did that. And one of my favorite things was when her trainer does that. Um, it, it's showing Tanya getting back into shape for the uh, the first Winter Olympics, and um, she is uh, she, she's in the middle of training, and it's very Rocky esque. She's like running out in the woods, like holding heavy things on her back and stuff. And the trainer interjects, like, "This really happened. She really did do this." Um, and they, you know, they they actually do a call back to Rocky Four, and she actually mentions that Rocky did this in Rocky Four, so. I thought that was great, you know, how much I love Rocky, so, um, yeah, fantastic movie, definitely check it out, whether you know of this incident, live through it, uh, know of it or not, it's pretty riveting film, it's pretty, it's really entertaining, so check it out.